Hey everyone. So this is a movie that I've been wanting to watch. I haven't has it's been a little while since I there's a movie I just really wanted to watch. But I didn't want to go and see in theaters and you know I probably should have but it's just a pain in the ass to get down there. So that's why a lot of these are, you know, they're new but they take they're they're more past the due of when they come out when I do when I do review them. Um, I usually watch them on iTunes and, you know, uh, pay for them. Uh, there are going to be some other ones that are new, but I they finally got on rent because I'm not going to pay full price for a certain kind of movies. But I will do the review on them. Hopefully this week I'll do one of those. Um, but this is definitely a high budget movie. And... <clears throat> It is based in World War One, and I have not. I am not a fan of World War movies, but as I said before, I am trying to get into them more area of the area of the period of it. Um, I don't know anything about it. Uh, this whole thing is of two around two guys that uh, are supposed to tell a a military group. Down the line that they're going into uh, a, a trap, right? So these are the message boys back then. They there was communication. I uh, technology was really bad, and they only had to go, do uh, other stuff. So usually they would go for doing sending people over as it would be quicker and more easier and radio silence and stuff. Well, not radio silence, but, um, the thing you go do, 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 code something. Um, I don't know what that is, what it's called at this moment. Um, <clears throat> but this, that definitely had, it was, it, it was so well shot. I will say that it was definitely well shot um, beautiful views, uh, from the trailer, you think there's going to be a lot of like long distance kind of shots there, there is, but it's not like it is the one part in the trailer where he's running and, you know, you see all these people going back, um, which was a really cool shot. And once you see it, you, you'll see the actual whole extent of it, um, compared to him in the trailer. And it was really cool. Um, there was definitely a lot of shooting in here, but it was more shooting at the person kind of than shooting back and forth. Um, but it, it was, it honestly, the story, it was a great story, but it was definitely slow through the whole thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was slow. But it was so good and interesting how it was shot and the story and how the action was and stuff. It was definitely something I should have seen in IMAX. And it's definitely something, if you have not seen this, you should watch. And definitely should have seen it in IMAX. Um, you know, blow your ears out, kind of bombs and the shooting and stuff. Great. It was just great. And the whole thing, does again, revolves around these two guys... The whole time. And you get other people this little sprinkled in and stuff. And stories to it. And how it was shot is... Um, so usually movies, they, they'll do cuts to other parts of the scene. This was more way more smooth. And it was just like it was... Um, like it was done from A to B. Where it was just done one, one shot. Um, you know, it was definitely good. And the, the, again, that problem with doing that is it has a lot of... I don't want to say filler, but it's kind of it kind of comes off <clears throat> like uh, kind of boring to it, like I said, and you know. But it was a really good movie, and I really loved it. It was really cool. I had a lot of cool parts in there. Um, definitely shot well. I mean, there's not much more to say about this awesome movie. I would give this five out of five stars. Strongly a five out of five stars. And you need to go check it out if you haven't already. This is definitely better than <clears throat> that Pearl Harbor movie that they just did. Uh, it was last year that I did a review on recently. This is way more top-notch, like five up. 
and um, I highly recommend it. And you you don't know what you're missing out when you're if you have not if you have not seen this yet. And um, yeah, so that's my review. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have some more reviews out for you uh, either later tonight or tomorrow, depending on time tonight, because I am in a mood to do some more. So, um, yeah, everyone have a good day, and uh, leave a comment down below. All right, bye.